Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. Fortunately, I've got a good connection to the other side. Suffering. Well, y'all, this is AGP here to say, damn. Damn, damn, damn. All comes apart if you try to do it again. So, we actually have a lot more info on Death Stranding's story than I originally anticipated, even though I had looked it up before and couldn't find much. Well, we found more. But, I mean, I still don't know what this dude is doing. He still has something on his cheek. But, look. If you heard that first part, this is creepy singing. If you heard that first part, and he was like, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. He was giving us a little insight into what this campaign is actually about. And what this campaign is actually about is reconnecting broken bonds that occurred because of the Death Stranding event. And um, I'm going to replay this part because I want you to listen to President Bridget talk about what she needs Sam to do. So his point is, she was like, we need to reconnect America and make it whole again. It's all well, safe you know. Continued in Which is the complete opposite to some people, but I digress for now. Anyway. Now, as you can see from that little piece, President Bridget decided to choose Sam to be the one to fix these connections. Sam being the main character that you play with in this. We don't know why she chose Sam. It could have something to do with his connection. Maybe it's stronger than others. Maybe there's something specific about his life, but... We'll find out when we get it. Of course, it's nobody's fault. But anyways, let's get into some of the other tools that are going to be important to the story. Such as the baby that's on Sam's chest the whole game, which we call Bridge Baby. Bridge Baby. Aww. But anyways, today was Gamescom today, y'all. Uh, and, um, you know, I had, a, I had a video of me reacting to Hideo Kojima coming in and talking about a whole lot of... Giving us more info um, on what Death Stranding is about. Um... And it was all great. Um, the, they, they gave us more gameplay, too. Um, I'll probably do a video reacting to that as well. Uh, but um, we got to be introduced to two more characters. He's one of them. I mean, yes, we've seen pictures of him. But uh, now we actually... He, and he spews sp sp a lot of good info, too. So um, I'm going to show you all that right now. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to his mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, Connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long. Which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the still mother in capital Nod city and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. 
Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. The kid looks happy. I'll try it. Just a little oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. Remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then. You're saying there's no way to keep my baby alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about babies. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. But as y'all can see, so what, so what they showed us in the Gamescom uh, trailer for Dead Man was that he's talking to us about how the baby, we already know it's a bridge baby um, that we brought up earlier, but and that it's a bridge between the, the, li the alive side of people and the dead side of people. It's really interesting to see how the baby uh the baby's stress level when it gets affected um affects the connection that um sam has with with uh being able to indicate where the bts are and sensing them um and this baby it was actually born from a still mother which is which is why it has that connection from the alive side to the dead side so essentially these babies are really just tools for them um and he was telling him not to get connected to the baby, but it's very hard to well, it's hard to not get connected to something that you travel with all the time. I mean, especially if it's a living thing, whether it's a, a person or an animal. But if you're traveling with something all the time in these life or death situations, uh, it's very hard to not get attached. I don't know how many people wouldn't, especially a baby, like a human baby. Um, so as you can see, that's what we got there. But... I'm going to show y'all again, this is another piece from the Gamescom uh, trailer where they were giving us more info on another character. This character is Mama, and uh, you'll see why she's important to the story, or at least give us some background as to who she is in the story. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. Not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. 
wild, ain't it? But yeah, y'all. So I mean, just to summarize that uh, that little character introduction was that was Mama and the baby that she. That's her baby, but her baby is a BT. So obviously, BTs doesn't necessarily mean somebody is evil or bad. Um, I assume the other BTs are either monsters or they're they're people souls who are either got you know I don't know why they would have bad intentions, but they do clearly. Um, but that baby doesn't have any bad intentions, and it's only connected to Mama, which means some of the other BTs may be connected to other people. I don't know, but um, the reason why she can't leave the location is because her baby is on the other side but in that location so i assume she can't bring the baby with her which is insane um and look at this real quick how crazy as hell is this so he has all these connections to these undead dead people i don't know what it is but he just lets them loose and if you saw earlier there was an army walking across the bridge and they were actually if you look closely um they were dead or undead just like the people he just let go but yeah, y'all, so this is insane. You got babies that are alive, but the person that they were born from were dead or on the other side. And then you got babies that are on the other side, and, they're, and the mom is, like, alive, which is mama. So that's crazy. But that's what we know about Death Stranding so far. It's coming out in November. I appreciate y'all watching this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Wait, hold up. I ain't recap. Essentially, Death Stranding is about how you're a carrier right and you are trying to connect all these different locations and cities and people from the east coast to the west coast and there are two groups of people that are trying to stop you they're terrorists and then they're the bts um and then there are homo demons but i think homo demons are part of the bts and or part of the terrorists but yeah that's essentially what uh what this is about it, uh, you don't believe me all right え、皆さんサムとなって、yeah, but you feel me? Maybe you had to hear it from Kojima. But now you have. So that's what we got at Gamescom. This game's gonna be lit. Now I'm signing off. Alright. Peace. Appreciate y'all. Come back for the next video, you know what I mean?